Yes, sir. It's Panel 5.1, home of the Breakfast Club. Angie Martinez, New York Hip Hop and R&B, rocking the pro style. I told you today, we have a legend in the building, a pioneer in the building, a trendsetter in the building, somebody who you can't say hip hop without mentioning his name. LL Cool J's up in here, ladies what up? and gentlemen. What up? What yeah. Up? Appreciate you. What up? Man. Pro uh, style. Everything's good, man. For, before I even get started, I want to say thank you. Oh, man. You know what I'm saying? Because as as a DJ who, first of all, was born in Queens, uh, before I moved down south, like at the age of 13, uh, my passion for, for hip hop had a lot to do with your influence in the game. You know what I'm saying? So I just got to say thank you. You know what oh, I mean? I wouldn't be here today that. without you. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate that, man. I That's appreciate what I'm talking that. about. Yeah, you know no what I'm saying? Matter of fact, I, my wife's from um, Brooklyn, so I really, I, I went hard with the whole, I'm, you know, born in Queens. Yeah, I represent Queens. Yeah, I represent Queens. Yeah, yeah, she was raised raised Queens. Brooklyn. She's born in Brooklyn. Exactly. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> First of all, I hope you're enjoying the, uh, the time out here. I know, you, I know you stay most of the time in L.A., but we've been getting that good L.A. weather out here. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm <laughs> always good to be home. Always good to touch down. Always good to, you know, feel your roots. Mm -hmm. um, you know, really excited about what we're doing in the city. Absolutely. Um, you know, I, I can feel the energy. I can feel the electricity. Yeah. The buzz is in the air. You know, it's Rock the, fe rock the Bells festival yeah. season. Yeah. And it's feeling good. So yep. and it's going. Good. And, and listen, it, that's this Saturday. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's going down tomorrow, people. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and it's going to be an amazing show. Of yeah. course, you put it on, so you know it's going to be amazing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's see, Buster Rhymes going to be there. Definitely, I always say, definitely, if not one of the the best. He's going to crush it. Yeah, he's yeah. going to tear gonna the stage Buster's apart. Buster's going to do what Buster does. Uh, Ice Cube, Legendary, Jada Kiss, Lil Kim, Fat Joe, Remy Ma, Rick Ross. I mean, who, you basically could have got whoever you wanted. Scarface, basically. Trina. Yeah, yeah, everybody. Diggable Planets, Diggable Planets. Onyx. Onyx. Havoc from Ooh. Mob Deep, Large Professor, Scarface, Trina. Uh, Listen, when LL calls you and says, I need you, just say yeah. You don't even, yeah. you don't even finish saying what you got to say. Know, you know what? Honestly, <laughs> man, it was really about the culture on mm -hmm. this one. It's, it's, you know, I know, what, you, I know you, you, what you're saying and you're joking, but, you know, it really, for me, man, yeah. is about the culture. You know, like, I really feel like these artists, these kings and queens deserve to be celebrated and elevated on the big stage. Absolutely. And I feel like sometimes we need to see hip-hop served on a silver platter. Mm -hmm. There's a time for brown bags and greasy brown bags. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, Don't yeah, get me. I'm yeah. from where I'm from. Yeah, yeah. But I also it's believe that, <laughs> that, that this culture mm -hmm. deserves a, the right presentation. You know, I think presentation matters, and I feel like these artists are going to... I'm putting them on a stage that I feel is um, commensurate or on the level of where hip-hop culture is yeah. in general. If if the Spring, Springsteens and the McCartneys and the, you know, the Mick Jaggers of the world and the Madonnas of the world can be revered and, and treated with deference, yeah. so can these artists. Because these artists are absolutely... They change the world. And not only did they change the world as artists, but as guys like yourself, like DJs, yeah. and then even people adjacent mm -hmm. to the DJs. I yeah. mean, hip-hop culture changed all of our lives, right? So yep. for me... That's the beauty of this. That's why I'm doing this. I'm doing this because I believe in our culture, and I and I felt like it was slipping away yeah. a little bit. I felt like it was not missing that highlight. It was you know what withering. I'm it was it was it was feeling like like it was feeling commoditized. It was feeling like hey, if you're not on the Billboard charts, you don't matter yeah. unless you're the Beatles. Yeah, and that's wrong. Right? You're right. You're right. You know, yeah. like I, I, you know, whether I put out a new record or not is immaterial. Yeah, that doesn't erase. All that I've done. All you've done, absolutely. So, and just like it doesn't erase and it for the Beatles these, or the all, Stones. And all these artists that you just mentioned that are going to be there, they all have put in that work that's for, what, for years and decades. That's you know what, what I'm saying? saying. So you yeah. come down, you see a first-class show. It's best in class. I'm treating these these artists the way they deserve to be treated. Yep. The festival is being presented the way it's supposed to be presented. Um you know, and it's going to be a good time. People are going to be able to have and, fun. And let's not forget, it's in Queens. No question. It's in Queens. No question. Yeah. No question. <laughs> no question. I'm doing it in Queens. But I tell you, yeah. you know, it, it is in Queens. Everybody knows I rep for Queens and Absolutely. I got to rep for Queens. 100. However, to keep it a, a, a buck on a transparent level, it's in Queens because I, that just felt like a great venue. Yeah. And the, the date was available. Um, you know, August is an important month for hip hop. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We go, you know, like August 11, you know, the birth, birth. So it's that mm -hmm. birthday week. It just felt right to me. So it the far Hill and the size of the stadium, yeah. it's 13,000 seater. So it's, it's not 20, but it's not five. Yeah, you know, yeah. it just felt like the right amount for this particular show. Yep. And, uh, 
the way the tickets have gone, it, it, we we it's good. Gonna, so it's it feels be good. That. Yeah, it and, feels that, and listen, people, this is tomorrow. You know what yeah. I mean? August sixth, tomorrow goes down. Uh, I see doors open at twelve o'clock, right? Yes, doors open t- tomorrow at twelve o'clock, and uh, make sure you get there early because there are lots of activations. Like we have the Trill Mill Food Court, right? right? So Bun B came up with this idea to curate this whole hip hop food court. So we have Nas a Sweet Chick out there, and we have E Forty's Goon with a Spoon ro- Restaurant. Mia uh, Mia um, X is her her whip them pots and Styles P and J to kiss his juice for life. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, a lot of different artists. Um, Ghostface Killers go um Killer Coffee and yeah. You know, a lot of these artists have their different stuff out there. That's amazing. Because I want it because it's about our culture and I want them to shine not just in music but also in every yeah. all, every endeavor. So it's bigger than just so going out there is bigger than just going out there to see a show. Yeah, it's you know a one saying? day festival. Yeah. It's one day only because we it's our first year. Mm-hmm. It'll it'll grow but Absolutely. It, but it's one day with activations they're going to be able to play salute it's an to sample this live. This is an experience people. Immersive, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I mean this yeah. this is exciting. I'm going. Yeah. So <laughs> this is going to be amazing. Uh can you still get tickets? Yeah, yeah, there's a few tickets available. The tickets have gone really really quick though. I mean it's getting really really tight now and uh, uh, I know you sent me the link. I'm looking at that. It's rockthebells.com, right? Yeah, go to rockthebells.com slash festival, and, um, you know, you can you can see what's left. You yes. know, good luck. <laughs> good luck. Or you can pull up. You know, there's going to be probably some people outside trying to get that money Yeah, 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 yeah. We can't knock their hustles either. You can't knock yeah. the hustle. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Man, that, this is going to be an amazing. I mean, first of all, thank you. Like I said, thank you for everything you've done, but thank you for this. Like, yeah. Like, what makes you, and you already kind of, Brought to our attention what what it was what was lacking, but like you don't. Ha- and this is what you gotta understand, people. LL don't need to do this. So so this is well, your pa- you're passionate I love about it. this. Yes, I I'm love saying. this. See, I, I do need to yeah. do this. I need to do it because I love it. No, you know what I say. I you know what you mean. You're talking about people. You're talking about money and yeah, fun. Yeah, and, yeah. And, like see, you're busy already. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. You know what? Let me tell you something, man. You know what I've learned, man. Um, when it really matters, bro, it ain't a, really about the paper, 100%. even though it is about the paper. Yeah, yeah. It's like even in the street. Right. Um, it's about the paper, but there's certain times when it ain't about the paper. Mm-hmm. It's about the principles. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, for me, it's like in this particular instance, this is about my culture. Yeah. This is about our culture. I'm doing this because I want to see us shine. Absolutely. Period. Like, yep. I want to see us shine. It, uh, it's not about me hosting the Grammys five times and the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And all, I love all that. That's yeah. all beautiful. It's yep. great. This is about us shining as a culture. Absolutely. And what I've learned is, look, when I was a little kid, I was young, I want to take my shirt off. It's about me. It's L. It's me, me, me. You get a little mature. You you grow. You see some things. You realize, you know what? I want to do for the culture what I did for my personal career. Yeah. So all I did was I took the lens. Okay, I said, okay, the things that I would do for myself. To I started in 84, right? And I'm here now. And it's like... Can we, like, can we so, get an applause so, for that? <laughs> you know, so when I think about it, yeah. so I'm like, okay, what would I do? For, what can I do for hip hop culture to lift it up and extend it and celebrate it and elevate it? Yeah. And these are the things I came up with. So you you do a channel. It's satellite radio. It's not it's not terrestrial. Yeah, yeah. But still, we have a channel dedicated to hip hop culture, right over there across the street. Yeah. And then what what do we do? You start this festival. Lift these, lift these, 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 these people up. Lift, yeah. lift these kings and queens up. So that's what it's about. So no, I don't have to do it, but I have to do it. Because you're passionate about I it. I love it, man. It's I love it. You know I what? I it. always tell you know people always when they ask me questions whether they're upcoming DJs, young people trying to get into the game. I always tell people you gotta do it first of all if you're passionate and you want to do it, not yeah. because you're looking at it from the outside saying these people are getting money or da 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 da. I always tell people like when I started DJing, it wasn't po- it wasn't the thing to do. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know, back in, when I got into hip-hop, not to age yeah. myself, I'm over, I'm over 40. You know right. what I'm saying? So when I got into the game, EP knows this, I was out here, you know what I'm saying, working hard. It right. wasn't, a, we weren't getting money. So but I thing, did it because I loved it. See, passionate. The, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Now you got people, it gets blurred because now they see it and they're just, I just want to do this to get the bag. The passion's not there. You know what I'm 100%. saying? 100%. See, you know, even, even people that bag chase, mm-hmm. you know, the, the people that, even even in hustling, the ones that get the most money are the people that are passionate about hustling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So it's like, you know, <laughs> like the reality is I, I, I always tell the youngsters, you know, like because I, I speak to a lot of youngsters and a lot of young artists and, you know, sometimes they'll invite me like maybe they'll have like a sample they want cleared or yeah, yeah. LL, I want to, you know, redo your th- song and mm-hmm. they'll talk, you know. And I always tell them, look, it's 
you, it's about the craft. You got to love your craft and you got to love the culture. It's nothing wrong with getting the money. It's nothing wrong with the shiny stuff. You just can't be blinded by the shiny stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You don't lead. Like I said a, a line in a song a long time ago. I said, man made the money, money never made the man. That's true. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, the, the, the money ain't going to make you. Yeah. You know, you want to get the money. You will get the money. You, mm -hmm. you can. But remember, money is a result. It's like when you see them pouring, when you see Steph and them pouring the champagne on their heads in the locker room, that's a result. Yeah. It's not because they were chasing From the hard champagne. Work and dedication, absolutely. They weren't chasing champagne. Yeah. You 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 know, you even if you can't even really chase a trophy. Yeah. You have to put the work in in the moment. You have to go all out in the moment and you gotta be passionate about what you're doing in the moment. And then ultimately you'll look up and you'll have an opportunity to get that trophy or to get that check or to get that money you want. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. That's how you get money. Absolutely. You feel me? I definitely feel you on that. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, uh, it's going down tomorrow, like I said, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. You know what I'm saying? Uh, August Rock 6th. Rocket Bells Festival, baby. Queens Forest Hill Stadium. Lineup insane, legendary. It's going to be an experience. You're not going to want to miss. This is not just a show. This is an experience. True. Rockthebells.com slash festival, right? Yep. That's yep. Go, go look, see what's left. Get in the building. You don't want to get left out. You know what I'm saying? And I, and, and I can't let you leave without talking about festivals. I'm really excited to see you also. Not not tomorrow, but this year at the iHeart Music Festival yeah. in Vegas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We're for, going for, perform. for me, it's big. You know why? Because um, I, I've, been, I've DJed every year of it. So I'm still DJing again this year. So for me, it's a blessing. They, like you said, they they see the, you know what I'm saying? Yep. The dedication to work. So I'll be DJing both nights. But when I first started years ago, I actually got a chance to in, to get on stage and introduce somebody. You know who I introduced? Who? You. Oh, really? I brought you out. Yeah, yeah. That's funny. I brought you out. And then I think you presented and then you talked yeah, and then you yeah. brought out an artist. That's so, funny. But it was big for me. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So years later, yeah. now you there performing. So I can't no wait. I can't wait to. I already know what you're going to bring out there and it's going to be great to it's see you know the big you know mixture of artists and music it's a celebration but uh, it is a big festival and mm -hmm. that's a lot of fun too because even when i in those arenas right i'm representing hip-hop right yeah and that'll be a whole bunch of different genres yeah, mashed yeah. up different people and yep. i represent you know mm -hmm. for the culture there too so it's beautiful man we're doing this thing. that's you know what i heard does. bring bring everybody out no you know doubt. what i'm saying so listen no I, I know you i know you gotta go uh i want to thank you of course for coming through here man uh I can't say anything, but thank you, thank you, thank you for everything you've done uh, for the culture, for the game. We're excited about tomorrow. We'll see you out there at the Rock the Bells Festival. Uh, and thank you, man. You know Power 105.1. This is hometown, baby. Appreciate you, know you I mean? baby. Love, always. One love, love.